Credit B presents Crick Buzz Live and uh, Credit B loans anytime, anywhere is the place to be. With regards to the place to be to work out who is the best overseas 11 for the prelims, not including the knockouts, I've got my stats. You've got the educated Sean Pollock, sunglasses, I mean sunglasses, <laughs> reading glasses on because I have to give you my facts and figures of why I've made my choices and we'll go along. First of all, Butler. He's going to be obvious, obvious opening the batting, no brainer of the selection. He's uh, 629 runs, uh, a massive average and a fantastic strike rate, 300s and 350s. So there's no doubt he's the man at the top. Who opens the batting with him? Well, I've decided to go with Quinton de Kock. I like the left-hander, right-hander combination. You can say, well, what about David Warner? Yes, he's coming into the team as well, but I think he's more adaptable. I think he's got that ability to go and bat at number three. He has scored five fifties and a couple of forties as well. So he's been really consistent. He's my man to come in at number three. Liam Livingston is going to be my fourth pick. He's going to come at number four. His strike rate's phenomenal. In fact, every single one of these guys that I've picked, their strike rate is basically above 147. That just shows the firepower that we've got in the team. Okay, so I'm looking at my stats. Livingston, he's had 450, so he's been more consistent than we maybe could have expected. Hasn't just been about smashing the ball to all parts. His strike rate, 180-something. It's really been phenomenal. Then was the big question for me, is who's going to come in at number five? And all my facts and figures made it really difficult to pick from. Uh, you got your Markhams, you got your Millers, you got your Purans. But I decided to go Chevron Hitmeyer. Um, his strike rate's been phenomenal. His consistency has been really good. I like the left-handed option, particularly in the fact that the next man to come to Chris is Dre Russ. Um, he's also really been consistent and struck it really well. So he's going to come at number six. He might give me a few overs. If he does or doesn't, that's not a real concern of mine, but he has been also good in the wicket-taking department. So maybe we can find a little role for him at the back end. We're going to move into the bowlers and the, the all-rounder. I'm going to pick Rashid Khan. There we go. There's a surprise for you. Probably wouldn't have been picked in the all-rounders department at the start of the tournament, but he gets in. His bowling's been pretty good. Not his best RPL that we've seen from him, but still consistent enough and played his part. But his batting has been sensational, a real revelation um, as to how he's come to the party. Then Hasaranga, so I'm going to go for the Spin Twins, two leggies into the mix. Hasaranga is the next man. Uh, he's got uh, 24 wickets, it says here, at a, a decent average of 15, and he crime rates just over seven. So he's been economical as well. And then my three fast bowling options. Well, in all honesty, I haven't been overly impressed by the, the fast bowling that have come from overseas. They haven't had their best tournament. I think Rabada stood head and shoulders above the rest. He's picked up 23 wickets, according to the stat sheet. Um, and he's probably been the best of the international fast bowler performances. Therefore, I've got two more spots to go. I like to mix things up a little bit. I've gone Sam's as my left-handed option. He started to come into his own. Also with a little bit of ability to strike it at the back end of the inning. So that's not going to go miss in my team. And then lastly, I thought, what other variation could I bring in? We've got Dre Russ to bowl a few overs. I just thought maybe up front, the option of Hazelwood, uh, the extra bounce that he possesses. He's had a decent tournament, um, got almost better as the tournament's gone on. So that's my 11. You know, Markram, Puram were the unlucky ones, I, I feel. Um, they could have easily been picked in the mix. So one of them you can pick as your 12th man. But whatever your thoughts are, let us know. Send us a, a message or two. Um, tell us if I've got it wrong and if you would have gone for a better option.